Hello and welcome to this lesson on essay writing. This lesson is from Northampton College Library and in this lesson we're going to ask the question what does the question mean? A common complaint we get from tutors is that students don't actually answer the question that they've been asked. So in this lesson we're going to have a look at some examples of essay questions and see what do they actually mean. So here's an example of an essay question. Identify and explain the reasons for the popularity of One Direction. Now I don't know what you think about One Direction, but it's a perfectly valid essay question. Okay, if we look at this essay question, we can see there are two different types of words. The first type, okay, identify and explain, these are process words. These are how you should use the information. The second type of word, popularity, One Direction, these are content words. These are the topics you should focus on. So if you were going to answer this question, you would focus on popularity and One Direction. The way you would use that information is you would identify popularity One Direction and then you would explain popularity of One Direction. So when you look at an essay question, you should try and break it down into its process words and its contents words. That way, you know what the topics are you should focus on and then how you should use that information. Okay, so in the next few slides, I'm going to show you some essay questions. What I'd like you to do, when the essay question is shown, pause the video, then read the question and try to find the process words. Okay, write those down. Then have a think about it and write down what you think the definition for each of those words are. Okay, so here is the first essay question, so pause the video. So this essay question asks, outline two methods of tackling traffic congestion in our large cities. Consider the strengths and weaknesses of each method. So what are the process words? Okay, we have two, outline and consider. So what does outline mean? Okay, outline means give a short description of the main points. And okay, what does consider mean? Express your thoughts and observations about something. So the question asks, outline two methods of tackling traffic congestion in our large cities. So it wants you to give a short description of each of the two methods. Okay, it doesn't want you to go into detail. Okay, just what are the main points? And okay, then it asks, consider the strengths and weaknesses of each method. So here it wants you to think about the strengths and the weaknesses for each method and then write down your thoughts. So if an essay question asks you to outline then you should just give a description of the main points. If an essay question asks you to consider then you should give your thoughts and your observations. Okay, here's the next question so pause the video So this question asks, surgeons regularly perform organ transplants, but the extent of their work is restricted by a lack of available organs from volunteer donors. Describe two arguments for and two arguments against the compulsory donation of organs to hospitals. So what are the process words? There's just one, describe. And what does it mean? It means give a detailed account of an idea or topic. So it asks, describe two arguments for and two arguments against the compulsory donation of organs to hospitals. So here he wants you to give a detailed description of both of the arguments for and both of the arguments against. The previous question asked you to outline, okay, it was just the main points, but this one is describe, okay, so he wants you to go into detail. So when you get an essay question and it asks you to describe Okay, really go into detail. Okay, don't just give the main points. Go into detail. Here's your next question. Press pause. So this question asks, sport often results in controversy, tension and discord. With reference to examples from two different sports, examine ways in which such problems occur. Suggest ways in which they might be dealt with by the authorities governing the sports. So what are the process words? We have to examine and suggest. What does examine mean? 
It means to look closely into something. What does suggest mean? It means to put forward an idea. So this question asks, examine ways in which such problems occur. So it wants you to look closely in how to sport often results in controversy, tension and discord, and then tell what you found. Then it asks, suggest ways in which they might be dealt with by the authorities governing the sports. So it wants you to put forward an idea. What do you think the authorities should do? So if an essay question asks you to examine, it wants you to look closely at something, look at the details and then tell what you found. And then if it asks you to suggest something, it wants your ideas, what do you think should be done? Okay, here's the next question, let me pause the video. So this question asks, evaluate two methods of hair removal. Discuss the effectiveness of both as methods for facial hair removal. So what are the process words? We have two, evaluate and discuss. What does evaluate mean? It means to consider the value of something. What does discuss mean? It means to weigh up arguments, give reasons for and against. So it asks, evaluate two methods of hair removal. So what are the value of both of those methods of hair removal? Okay, how good are they? Then it asks, discuss the effectiveness of both methods for facial hair removal. So it wants you to give reasons for and against. Okay, what are the pros and cons? If, uh, if an essay question asks you to discuss, okay, don't just give one side of the argument. You've got to give both sides. Look at it from all angles. If an essay question asks you to evaluate, it wants you to consider the value of something. How good is it for its purpose? Okay, here's the next question. Pause the video. So this question asks, why are governments currently so concerned with global warming? Explain two actions that governments could take to slow down global warming. So what are the process words? Okay, we have why and explain. What does why mean? It means to give reasons. What does explain mean? It means to tell how things work or how they came to be the way they are. So this question asks, why are governments currently so concerned with global warming? So it wants you to give reasons. Give the reasons why governments are currently so concerned with global warming. Okay, then it asks you to explain two actions that governments could take to slow down global warming. So it wants you to tell about the two actions that the governments could take. It's not asking you to suggest two actions. It's not asking for your opinion. It's just asking you to tell about the actions. So if an essay question asks you why, okay, it wants the reasons why something is the way it is. If it asks you to explain, okay, it just wants you to tell about something. Okay, here's your next question. Press pause. So this question asks, compare and contrast presidential and parliamentary systems of government for their key characteristics as well as their strengths and weaknesses. So what are the process words? Okay, compare and contrast. What does compare mean? It means to look for the similarities and differences between two things. What does contrast mean? It means to bring out the differences between two ideas or things. So it asks you to compare and contrast presidential and parliamentary systems of government. So it wants you to find the similarities and the differences between the two systems of government. A compare and contrast are often grouped together in essay questions. You don't often get a compare this or contrast this. It's usually compare and contrast together. So if you get a compare and contrast question, you should look at what are the similarities and what are the differences between the two things you've been asked to compare and contrast. Okay, so that was our last essay question. So in summary, when you get an essay question, you should look at the question and then ask, what are the content words? Okay, what are the topics I need to focus on in this essay? And then you should look at the process words. Okay, what is it you should do with the information that you found out? Okay, that's all for this lesson. 
I hope you found it useful and good luck with your essays.